now. Uh, anyone for fish and chips? OK, well, it might not be ideal for breakfast. A chippy from Blackburn, though, want you to go to them for lunchtime today as they, uh, they're being awarded with a very special award. And as far as the uh, fish and chip shop industry goes, it's one of the most prestigious on the menu. The owner of Holly Tree Fish and Chips off Livesey Branch Road, Michael Rose, is with me in the studio to tell us more today. Congratulations, first of all, uh, Michael. Tell us about the award that you've, uh, you've scooped then. Thanks very much, John, and good morning. The award's called the Quality Award. It's uh, awarded by the National Federation of Fish Fryers, the industry body. Uh, there's 10,500 chip shops in Britain, and only 200 have got this award. And it's uh, rewarded and recognises a high standard of all-round business maintenance, of the, the physical state of the building, obviously the quality of the product and the taste of the product you produce, the, the, the way you train your staff and the way the staff interact with customers. So it's an all-round assessment of your business. And whilst in the past we've been very fortunate, we've won numerous awards, national and local, mostly generated by customer votes, which you're obviously very, very appreciative of, and it's a great thing to achieve. But this one is different in that it's an assessment by an objective industry expert. So we feel like we've got the full scoop of awards now. There's not really many places to go other than consolidate and hopefully improve, but there's not more awards, I don't think, to be gained. So does someone come down to the chippy then and, and, and stand over you and watch what you're doing and yeah. check everything? Yeah, yeah we, we had a really five-hour assessment. So a lot of time in a very small box that we've got called the chip shop. And, yeah, they, they assessed every aspect of hygiene, the way we control food, the way we uh, get food delivered, the actual source of our food, because there's a lot of uh, issues about the sustainability of fish and we have to show that we use to manage fish. So uh, it really is uh, a top accolade, and we're very, very proud of this one. Uh, and what about the reaction of, uh, of your customers? Not too much yet, because we didn't announce it until last night. In fact, the local paper announced it before we had, so we've been taken a bit uh, by surprise. But today at 12 o'clock, we've got the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Cotton, coming. Uh, he's our local ward councillor as well, so it's most appropriate. Uh, and we hope from here on in to have a bit of a party in the week or so following. Uh, and a good night to announce it on a Friday. It's always chippy tea oh, night, chippy isn't it? It's yeah. the night to go to a chippy. Well, every night is a good night to go to a chippy, but Friday is still the most popular night by far in most chip shops. Uh, and how long have you been in the business uh, now, then? Uh, I've been in the chip shop business nine years, but I've been in retail because I worked for Woolworths for 27 for pretty much decades, it well, seems. That's a bit of a change, though, isn't it, from Woolworths to, uh, to running your own chippy? The change is in what you sell. Um, you can stand behind a counter and sell pick and mix and sweets and toy cars, or you can stand behind a counter and sell your fish and chips. It, it's, it's, yeah, it's, you're right, it's a jump, but it's, it seemed a natural jump at the time, and I thoroughly enjoy doing what I do. And luckily, we've landed back in Blackburn after touring the country, and um, we're in our own community. Both my wife and myself were born within half a mile of the shop. You mentioned the community. I mean, is the local chippy a real community focal point? I think it's a bit of an anchor point, not not dissimilar to a, a post office or a chemist maybe, a, a pub, not quite in the same league maybe as a pub or a church, but certainly that community spirit there. And in our shop on any, any night, particularly a Friday night, there's a lot of banter between the customers, they know each other, and unfortunately we've gained a wider audience with our customer footfall, as they call it, and um, yeah, new friendships made in chip shops. Uh, and is it long hours? I mean, are you up early and you peeling the spuds, well, etc.? I could lie, John, and say I'm. But I put a lot of work in behind the scenes. But personally, I don't. I've got a fantastic team. That's why we've got this award, I think, mainly because we've got great people who work with us. And uh, I, I do more of the sort of behind the scenes work. But I do fry a lot. And um, yeah, it's not too difficult. Although it has been difficult over the years building to where we are. But like a lot of businesses, the busier you are, the easier it is to run it. Everything's fresh. And that's a big help. Uh, and how many staff do you have working at uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. It's quite a few, that, isn't it? It's so is lot. it is it different shifts that they do? And... They do do different shifts, but we have a pretty established lunchtime team and a pretty established tea time team. And they interact really well with our customers. Uh, and above and beyond everything else, they've got a fantastic level of confidence. And that's, I think, the key to good customer service. If you're able to be confident and talk to your customers, then you've got a chance. Uh, and you open every day? Apart from Sunday, yeah. we, we open every day, lunch and tea. Uh, and, um, you know, it's a couple of hours at a time, presumably. Yeah, but the... they're, they're not long shifts. We've tried opening right through the day, John, yeah. but you compromise freshness because you're not as busy at half past three as you would be at four o'clock or at uh, two o'clock. So we decided that was a bad idea. 
Uh, and and people think, you know, you pack up at lunchtime, then you go home, don't you, and come back at uh, five o'clock. But it's probably not the case, is it? A lot of well, I'm idea, but the people don't. <laughs> uh, Behind the scenes, a <laughs> lot going on. There's a lot going on. We start work every day at uh, nine o'clock. Deliveries are coming from then on in. The potatoes, we hand peel every potato. Well, we have a machine that does it, but we, we hand check every potato in the shop. That's a big process. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's a full day. We don't get out till 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock some nights. Is, is, is fish and chips still as popular as ever, or do people go in for, for pies and other different things? And They're more popular than ever, yeah. John. The, the, the number of chip shops is less, because they've diversified into other aspects of food. But the, the chip shops that exist sell more. And, and there's a myth that curries are Britain's favourite takeaway. They are in pound note terms, but they're not in unit sales. So fish and chips is still Britain's most popular takeaway meal. They're just not as expensive as some other takeaway meals. So anything special happening today then? I know you've got the uh, the deputy mayor along. And, uh, That's very special. Yeah. We hopefully have a team photograph as well with our, our people, the last people who work with us. Uh, let's say we've been taking a bit on the hoof really with this, with this <laughs> announcement. And we've got one or two things planned during the week. We've got some good offers for customers, our own customers and hopefully new customers. And we have a big presence on Facebook and I'd ask people to have a look at it and see what they can see because there's some great deals there. Well, well done. Thanks very much Thanks, indeed John. for coming in. Congratulations, uh, Michael. There's an appropriate song to take us to the headlines and sport. Uh, the Lancashire Hot Pots, Chippy T. Well, it's the end of the working week. I'm rushing back on quick. I'm starving. I'm for a cleanliness. I could eat a buttered brick. I need stodgy food without the false step wife. Give me a plate of couscous. I said, I'm sorry, look. I want a Chippy T. Chippy T, Chippy T. I want a Chippy T. But you keep giving me posh posh, it don't agree with me I don't want lobster thermidor with a raspberry curly I'm a working man from Lancashire and I want such a easy Plenty of salt and vinegar on that one Leave it open, will you, darling? It's dark when I set off to work, it's dark when I come walk And all I want is simple food, not dig something from Kenon her inspiration's ready, steady, cook. Am I eating it? Am I? It's Friday night. I want a chippy tea. Chippy tea, chippy tea. I want a chippy tea. But you keep giving me posh posh. You don't agree with me. I don't want lobster thermidor with a raspberry coolie. It's Friday night and within me right. I want a chippy tea. And in the rest kitchen, William is preparing griddle squid with coconut pesto, chili jam, and an ice corn throw custard. And in the Lancashire kitchen, Bernard's brought back from the chimney chips, peas, pudding, gravy, wrapped, a can of curry, a bam cake, and a can of him talk. No! Chippy tea, chippy tea, I want a chippy tea. But you keep giving me posh nosh, you don't agree with me. I don't want lobster thermidor with a raspberry coolie. I'm a working man from Lancashire and I want such a chippy tea. Only a little sachets of tomato sauce. Throw us a chicken in there, will you, love? Oh, we eat chippies, they have babby's eggs. It's telling us they serve splits. But that's giving me new bell cuisine. And all I want is chips. I don't care if it's one of my jealous. I think that's a funny name for a fella. I'm not eating it. I want a chippy tea. One last time. Chippy tea, chippy tea. I want a chippy tea.